Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Losing It with Don. Yep, this is my second video today. First video today was the uh, day nine of my 22 days to a better me fitness challenge. This video is a follow-up to my 30-day eating vegan challenge. And guys, I don't know if you remember back um, when I started that, but I had gone and had some blood work done and uh, finally got my blood work back for my after. So at the end of the 30 days, I uh, made an appointment. I went over and I did blood work um, again. Just got that back, and guys, the results are crazy. Now, remember, this is I'm not on any medications whatsoever. This was completely diet impacting these lab results. So, as everyone knows, I'm type 2 diabetic. Guys, when I was diagnosed as being diabetic, my A1C was 13 with an average daily glucose of 326. Now, I think I've been doing a really good job of controlling that just by watching my carbs, watching my sugars. Um, my before was 109, and I'm pretty happy with that. That gives me an A1C of 5.4, and really you want that A1C to be under 7 if you're diabetic. So I've been really happy with 5.4. My average daily glucose was 109. Guys, average daily glucose for the 30 days of eating vegan was 91. That's a 4.8 A1C. You would never look at those lab results and think that I had ever been diabetic. Now, a bunch of years ago, I also had uh, been diagnosed with some heart disease. I had some uh, uh, partial blockages, some coronary uh, uh, artery stuff going on. So I've always been trying to pay attention to my cholesterol. I had not been doing a great job with that. I love me some fried food, man, some chicken wings and stuff. But uh, before this, my total cholesterol was 239. I know, hey, that's high. You don't really ever want your cholesterol to be that good or to be that bad. But guys, my total cholesterol after just 30 days of eating vegan, 162. And I'm getting lots of fats in there from things like the avocado and the nuts. So uh, for it to be that low, amazing. But the number I'm really excited about is my triglycerides. Now guys, your high triglycerides are a sure indicator of heart disease, uh, diabetes, uh, uh, different uh, things that can lead to strokes. So all the bad things that can happen to us as we age, uh, high, high triglycerides are a good indicator of that. Well, my before triglycerides were 255, which is horrible. Horrible. Guys, 30 days of eating vegan, triglycerides, 87. Yeah, I didn't stutter there. It's not 187, it's 87. One third, I cut my triglycerides down to one third of what they were before. Man, I I was blown away when I saw that number. HDL cholesterol, which is your good cholesterol, and you want this to be 40 or higher, and it was 40 on my before. My after on my HDL cholesterol, 46, which is amazing. That's about as good as you can get. And then my LDL, or bad cholesterol, was 148, which, uh, you know, you really don't want it to be over 140. You really, ideal is 100. Um, my after 30 days of eating vegan, my LDL, 110. Now, that is normal to mildly high. That's not, uh, that's nothing that would raise an alarm with anybody, so... Guys, if you're out there, if you're on medication for high cholesterol, for diabetes, for, uh, you know, you're having to take things because of heart disease and stuff, man, guys, it's diet and nutrition is such a big factor of that. Now, I know genetics plays a part too, so talk to a doctor before you get off anything and just say, hey, Don said that all I have to do is eat vegan and I'm going to be cured. That's not what I'm saying talk to your doctor, but I promise you, even if you are on those drugs and you've got some genetic things going on, your diet can help. 
I've not been taking drugs for any of my uh, uh, ailments, my my getting old diseases for a little while now. And uh, after looking at this, guys, I'm uh, I'm even more tempted to stay on the uh, staying away from red meat, especially staying away from fried foods. I'm still going to eat a little bit of fish. I'm going to eat a little bit of dairy, but not much. I'm mostly going to concentrate on the whey proteins. Uh, may have a little bit of cheese now and then, but it's nowhere near going to make up my diet the way it did before this. Guys, this, more than anything else, has been a real eye-opener for me. I had had a very restrictive diet for almost well for over a year when I lost a hundred pounds a couple years ago and my blood test results then did not look as good as what they do now um, and this is just from 30 days man I cannot believe the turnaround uh, I know I've said it probably more than you guys wanted to hear but oh my god 30 days this kind of uh, lab test results guys what are you waiting for man if you uh, if you haven't tried it try it I all you got to lose is, you know, a medicine cabinet full of drugs and, uh, you know, whatever extra pounds you're carrying around. So, guys, that's it for losing it with Don. And, uh, you know, maybe go back and watch some of the videos. There's some uh, uh, pointers that I give out there about eating vegan, and I talk about it a little bit. But it's really not that bad, guys. Think about it. Anyhow, we'll catch you next time.